Scriptures that refute Calvinism. Calvinism is a false doctrine that teaches God only shows us some people to be saved and damns the rest to hell. The scriptures listed below teach otherwise. These are just some of the scriptures that refute Calvinism. There are many, many more. Whosoever that shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter in Luke 18 17. Whosoever that believes in him should not perish John 3:15. Whosoever that drinks of this water that I shall give to him shall never thrice John 4:14. Whosoever that lives and believes in me shall never die John 11:26. I am come a light unto the world that whosoever believes in me should not abide in darkness John 12:46. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved Acts 2:21 that through his name whosoever believes in him shall receive remission of sins Acts 10:43 Whosoever that believes in him shall not be ashamed Romans 10:11 For whosoever that shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved Romans 10:13 Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the son of God God dwells in him 1 John 4:15 Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God 1 John 5:1 Come unto me all of you that labor and I will give you rest Matthew 11:28 Whosoever shall confess me before men him will I confess before my father Matthew 10:32 For whosoever will save his life shall lose it Matthew 16:32 Whosoever shall receive a little child in my name receives me Matthew 18:4 And whosoever shall do the will of God the same is my brother and my sister and my mother Mark 3:35 which you have prepared before the face of all people Luke 2:31 Whosoever that will come after me Luke 6:47 The same came for a witness of the light that all men might believe John 1:7 The verses you've provided indeed emphasize the inclusivity of God's invitation to salvation countering the deterministic aspects often associated with Calvinism Let's explore each verse and incorporate insights from Orthodox Christian Church fathers to shed light on the historical and theological perspectives. Luke 18:17, Whosoever that shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter in. This verse underscores the simplicity and openness required for entering the kingdom of God. The Orthodox Church emphasizes the importance of childlike faith and humility. As St. John Chrysostom, an influential church father, said, Humility and the fear of God are above all virtues. John 3:15, Whosoever that believes in him should not perish. The emphasis on belief and salvation for whosoever aligns with the orthodox understanding of synergy the cooperation between divine grace and human response. Saint Athanasius, a key figure in early Christianity, stated, God became man so that man might become God. John 4:14 4, Whosoever that drinks of this water that I shall give to him shall never thirst. This metaphorical language aligns with the orthodox understanding of the sacraments, particularly baptism. Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, an influential church father, highlighted the transformative power of baptism in cleansing the soul. John 11:26 Whosoever that lives and believes in me shall never die. The Orthodox Church teaches that through faith in Christ, believers transcend physical death. Saint Gregory of Nyssa, a church father, wrote extensively on the hope of resurrection and the eternal life granted through Christ. John 12:46, I am come a light unto the world, that whosoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. The concept of Christ as the light is deeply rooted in Orthodox theology. Saint Simeon the New Theologian emphasized the transformative nature of encountering the divine light through prayer and sacraments. Acts 2:21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This verse underscores the universal accessibility of salvation through calling upon the name of the Lord. Saint Basil the Great, a church father, stressed the importance of invoking the name of Jesus for protection and salvation. Romans 10:11 For whosoever that believes in him shall not be ashamed. This verse speaks against the idea of a predestined group. Saint John Chrysostom emphasized the role of faith in overcoming shame and standing boldly before God. Matthew 11:28 
Come unto me all of you that labor and I will give you rest. Christ's invitation to all reflects the orthodox teaching of God's universal love. Saint Isaac the Syrian, known for his teachings on divine love, emphasized God's boundless compassion. Matthew 10:32, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my Father. The importance of personal confession and testimony is highlighted. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, an early church father, stressed the significance of confessing Christ openly. Matthew 16:32, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. This verse implies the universal challenge of self-sacrifice. Saint Maximus the Confessor, a prominent church father, wrote extensively on the journey of self-denial for the sake of spiritual growth. In summary, these verses emphasize the universal call to salvation, the importance of faith, and the rejection of any deterministic or exclusive predestination. The teachings of Orthodox Church Fathers further support the idea that God's grace is extended to all, inviting each person into a transformative relationship with Christ.